What was your motivation to come to this conference about fibers, especially hemp mm -hmm. fibers? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I am an ethnobotanist. And ethnobotanists study the relationships between cultures and the plants they use. And this relationship goes two ways. It's how cultures have influenced the plants, as cultivated plants in this case, and how the plant has influenced the evolution of the cultures as well. So hemp is my study, cannabis in general, which is a great plant to study because it grows in temperate regions worldwide and uh, even beyond temperate regions. And it makes a great case study because different cultures generally do the same things with hemp, but they all have specialized ways of working with it that differ from their neighbors. So it's just a good study plant for me. Uh, in Turkey, do you think that hemp could be given a wider range of um, fields of production in Turkey? What is your general impression about the situation in Turkey with hemp? The situation in Turkey with hemp is, is the same as it is worldwide, pretty much. It's, it's at an all-time low. And this is for a number of reasons, which I'll probably discuss in other parts of your video. But basically, it's had economic competition from petrochemicals and has had difficulty because of its association with cannabis drugs. So these two factors in general have really uh, curtailed production. And And like anywhere else where you're trying to bring this back, the keys are education on all levels, from government down to the farmers, and also creating an economic impetus for people to grow it again. Mm. It used to be needed by all these cultures, but now there are other substitutes. And so there has to be a, an economic uh, thrust as well as an educational thrust. And how do you see the chances that this can happen in Turkey by by now? I mean, the situation you have, you have been many times in mm -hmm. Turkey, so mm -hmm. the developments that you see, how do you evaluate these developments? I think they're in the vestigial stages. They're just beginning. And uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. But I know for sure without educating people, yes. that you can't make a step. And you have to follow the money. The farmers have to realize they're going to make money instead of going into debt, which a lot of farmers have done through cooperative systems here and things. They, they, they end each farming cycle owing money rather than making money in certain circumstances. So that, that's, you need to make them believers. So you think that uh, the social society is uh, one factor to make the farmers make this profitable goal? If, if people want to buy their products, yes. But the, that's it. I mean, it, you can preach till you're blue in the face to farmers and to, to, to policymakers, but the people who carry the weight are the economists, the, the people who convince the policymakers there's a profit to be made and that that will help the farmers and will help the socioeconomic system in general. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Very good. Hey, thank you. This is super. And good luck with everything. Thank you.